I said, Lord, forgive me for using this book this way because I've been working with the I Ching and I'm rusty on the Bible. But I said, if you can still speak to me through this book, please do it now because I am desperate. I'm at my end. And I said, I want to know from you what your evaluation is of this baggage, of theories of reincarnation, of all that I have ever done or been involved in in astrology, of my beloved ascended masters to whom I have had altars in my home. And I opened it up as I would the I Ching. My eye fell on Mark 9.29. This kind can only be cast out by prayer and fasting. is the next step of your evolution. And Ramtha gives us permission. He first says, you are God. Now let's get about learning how to be that. Religion is no longer sacred. Everyone questions the church. They should. And that question is, what is? And the answer is, I am. we did that is one of the one night one of the witches came in one of the young witches came in and she said there's a lady down the street who's a Christian and she's she's threatening to expose us threatening to expose our group and I said well, we've got the police department and the sheriff's department I mean there's no problem there she goes no you don't understand she's gonna tell my mother I said oh we can't have that she said no she tells my mother she said my mother will make me quit I said oh okay well, what do you want us to do? Well, let's just hurt her a little bit. Let's put a hex on her. Not a big one, just a little one. I said, oh, you mean send something after her just to make something happen to let her know we're there? She said, yes. Okay, we can do that. So what we did is we got in the circle and we summoned up a spirit named Astaroth. Now, uh, this is supposed to be one of the hierarchy of the demons. And over in the side of the room, this orange cloud started appearing. And as it appeared, there started appearing a face out of that cloud. We told her what we wanted to do. We sent it off, and it was gone. We came out five minutes later, came out of the circle, everybody talking, having a good time. We were getting ready to break the meeting up. All of a sudden, this orange cloud started appearing in the side of the room again. And I looked at it, and I said, oh, everybody back in the circle, quick. We got back in the circle, and this, cl this cloud appeared again. This time, this thing was in a rage. I mean, it was angry. And it spoke to me just like I'm speaking to you tonight. I mean that audibly. And it said, don't you ever send me after a Christian again. She said in the Christian church that she attended, there were some people who used to dabble in the occult 
or spiritualism. And similarly, they had poltergeist activities, but it was when they became a Christian that the activities were finally dealt with that Christ, once he came into their lives and once they got to know Christ, like Michael was saying, their houses were finally cleansed. So that really rang a bell with me. When she said that a, a, a preacher was coming, a visiting preacher who had the gift of prophecy, then I really paid attention because having been a spiritualist, um, we were so used to prophetic things and, and that really interested me so that's what attracted me along so I did go still thinking the guy was probably just a psychic you know but um, so he preached preached the gospel that night and I don't know that I totally believed in it that night but when he prophesied and obviously people people were ministered to through the Holy Spirit and people were healed and and everything like that um, and there was just something in me that thought, well, what if this is true and Jesus really is the Son of God? What if, mm -hmm. I hadn't really thought about it before, what if this is true? I can't walk away from this and ignore it like it didn't happen. I have to consider this. Um, as an intelligent person, you have to consider it. Um, and he did pray, and he actually prayed for people to become a Christian that night, which I didn't do. But funnily enough, he also prayed, if there's anyone here who has known God but has backslidden away from God, and wants to come back to God tonight, I'll pray with you. Now, funnily enough, in my confused state, I thought, because I hadn't been to the spiritualist church for months, I was <laughs> backslidden away from God, and yes, I would quite like prayer <laughs> to come back to God. Right. So, um, but he prayed with me that night, and, and I feel that his prayers certainly would have helped. Mm -hmm. um, so, But yeah, it, it was a really good experience, but when I went home that night, it wasn't so good just the spirits were really angry that I had been to the the, ch the Christian church, obviously, right, right. and that was quite a, a frightening mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. And I, again, in a sense, that proved to me, well, if they don't like Jesus, then they can't really be my relatives after all. They can't really be these good spirit guys that they're claiming to be, or they wouldn't be acting so right. horribly. I was sort of looking up, and I never read the Bible, and I never knew about God using a cloud, but I saw the cloud, and I knew the God who created heavens and earth was behind that cloud. Mm -hmm. I looked down and I saw the devil and I knew it was the devil. And he ain't in hell, he ain't locked up, he ain't in chains. He's, he's free to, to run, run around. The earth, run, it says run, in the scripture, absolutely. yes. And he was there and I was fully aware, fully conscious. And I was taken to the east and taken to the west, the pyramids in New York. And the devil offered me sort of fame and fortune um, if I would follow him. But I needed to, but, but uh, from that, I would, I would be selling my soul to the devil. Um, and I just said no. I said, I said no. And then I, I heard out of this cloud the words, he said no. And this devil who was a good-looking character, he was, oh, he was like a meditating-looking guy, he changed into this r unrecognized creature of pure evil. Evil just emanated from every part of his body. In front of my eyes, he changed. It was flames of fire. It was literally coming out mm -hmm. of every part of his body. And he just turned and he just flew at me and it was like he was totally out to destroy me at all costs. But basically, he couldn't because God had right. sort of put a the block on his. Witches believe magic comes within them, or that it comes from being at one with the earth and at one with the sky, and this kind of pantheistic thing where, you know, kind of like the Force in Star Wars, you know. But actually, there is a real power in witchcraft, but the power comes from the demonic realm. <laughs>
that I have had, every idea and thought that I thought was important, I could see in retrospect at that point was a counterfeit of the original. This stuff is the original. This is the Holy Spirit, and a spirit guide is the counterfeit.